Okay, so today what I want to do is to carry on with networking, although I'm not going to be doing specifically networking in the form of exchanging messages back and forth and setting up like a server or a client or peer to peer connection system, or any of the overhead that goes along with that. Now that I have the very basics of sockets and sending very basic, you know, plain text messages. Uh, now I want to go on and add a security layer on top of that using cryptography, not blockchain, but, you know, encryption, decryption, hashing and other adjacent things. And to do that, what I'll be doing is I'll be adding, in addition to the original phone network library, I'm going to be adding a, just a crypto library, which will be an interface on top of other already established libraries that do this um you know options are, are like open ssl or otherwise known but for this implementation for this initial implementation at the very least i will be using something called libsodium which is well as it says a, pa a fork of salt from back in the day it works most places but importantly it does offer the things that i want First off, it has, well, it has, as it says, public key cryptography. It has SHA, as in hashing. It has newer 255.19 type keys. And it has AES, GCA, AES 256 implementation, which is hardware accelerated if those instructions are on the machine, which for uh, at least x86-64 CPUs, which is basically everything since about 2008. 2010 i guess something like that very <clears throat> very well established by this point and for those that don't have that while OpenSSL will fall back to a software implementation this doesn't have a, a software implementation so if you don't have hardware acceleration for aes 256 you're kind of out of luck on that but it does have uh the much newer and already well liked established recommended uh cha cha 20 poly 1305 available as well which so the idea in my mind is that if i don't have this then i'll fall back to that uh for connection for connecting machines that don't have that acceleration and stuff like that so and it generates random it has things for generating random random data which is great so i don't have to rely on the um the uh compiler implementations the one that come with you know glib or libc or whatever so and to begin with i already have the very basics of the new library here i just added in the basic result stuff um and the infrastructure otherwise so like the declaration and comp compilation library that's all there which is great so and first things first start starting with the basics hashes one-way hashes is what i'm going to be doing so sha uh ba, 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 which is going to be this which is yeah So, okay, the implementation of the... So, uh, obviously, Libsodium is not going to be something that you, that users of this library will have to know. It'll just be like part of Im implementation detail and will be linked in. So, I don't need that. Um, I do at least need to do this. And then I'm going to try to see if I can get this to be basically like a fully C-only library. It's like a little cha challenge for myself. So, okay, void... Uh, crypto hash uh, 56. So, of course, when you're hashing something, uh, something you have the, uh, the original data that you're hashing, the size of that data, and 256 bits. So, that's what 32. Okay. You went 8T, I guess. 
bytes. So I need at least include standard h the hash, which is 32 bytes, I believe. And then when I do it, if I have 112, it's just doubling the hash size. So I get that. Let's copy that. Let's bring that down to here. Got to the six. Let's grab the basics. Okay, so sodium. Let me double check what this looks like. What headers for this thing? Okay. So include sodium. Ah, okay, this seems pretty easy. So if I go into here, there's going to be basically crypto hash that in out uh, in in length and out in it update final. Okay, so this is if you have all the data in one go, like you just have one block, and this is if you have multiple blocks that you want to hash together. I'm only interested in a single block for the moment. I guess it can also fail. So. I wouldn't know. Yeah, and the number of bytes is that. Okay, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So. I grab that. I copy that. Do this and that. So I just return. Book, uh, result set. We'll do that. I should do this just in case like there's other implementations that I need to have this in case there are other implementations that can fail for whatever reason. I need to have codes to be able to handle that. So for crypto hash, blah, blah, blah. Okay, right. Hash 256. I don't even need that. It's just this. And P hash. Uh, P data and the data size. And then I return crypto success. This is not compiled that in right now. Make sure it does. It does not. Why? Uh right, different return types. like that now it compiles great so basically make a copy of this but for 512 nice and easy i should just do this 512 do that a couple times this is double the 64 bytes Do that. Zoom, that's just going to work just about fine. Okay. Great. So, uh, because this is actually something that I should be, like, I should verify. I, I do need to make tests for this. I absolutely do. So. That's not a lot. That's not a directory. This will be that though. Um, test. Get this. Copy this. Let's see what I need to get rid of that. Becomes crypto. We don't have this stuff. We'll have. Not going to have this either. I'm just going to have 256.cpp to begin with. Just that. Mm -hmm. And I need to have that. Okay. OK. 
testing. Okay, first off, header. Okay, just get rid of that. I need the header. I got too many things open. Close them all. Here we go. I need that. Actually, I don't need that. I'm not gonna. There's no actual error codes I care about right now, but I do care about SHA 256. I do include. <clears throat> Test macros. I need those. And a test case. I'm just trying to think like I need some I need some data to hash and I and I need to know uh that it's correct. So That it comes from some external source as well. So of course, first you went a t for calculated hash thirty thirty two bytes. Um, okay, that's that. I need to check. No, um, do this, and I need data. I need data, and I need data size. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab. from online what i'm going to do yeah no that'll work lorem ipsum if i can find a nice clean thing from let's say wikipedia wikipedia should work okay Lorem Ipsum. Okay, and then I need to... I'm going to have to put in, like... We can do, shall we? Something like that. So it'll be, like, a const... Put it in namespace. Plain text. Equals... Lorem Ipsum, which we're going to do here. Save, that'll be compressed down to this. Great. Then I need to get a hash from online of it. SHA-256 hash, SHA-256 hash online. So if I grab text, what I'm doing is this. I just found this online. I'm going to assume that this is correct. Oh, I can do a bunch of others. Okay. So I'll hold, I'll hold on to this and I'll do it for SHA-512. Oh, I wonder if SHA-3. I need a... Whatever. I'll just focus on these two and then I'll move on to the other things. I'll put the others on offline. But for now, 512, I'll assume it's that value. Where the expected hash is this. Okay. So we have this. We're going to say, hey, this is C plain text. Oh, sorry, data. And calculated hash. Okay. Don't know why this is considered bad. Find out soon.
Hmm. Then I need to basically do a comparison between two. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if the hash is like. Upper. Oh, no, no. I need to. No, because it's going to be binary data. I need to convert it to hex or hexadecimal. I don't know if I have hexadecimal. I don't have a hexadecimal thing, do I? Uh, okay. This probably won't actually end up here, but I'll put it here for the moment. I need to do hex uh, conversions right now of binary data. So. Got that. I need the C extern stuff. Great. Um, mm -hmm. And I need what, like standard imp, I guess. The size. So, I need to. I need to go. I need to in um, encode and decode. So, that and that. This is, I'm assuming it's going into like readable hex, like as in um, zero through F, like a character string. And I'll have the size of that buffer that is available. If I encode, do I want to say how many bytes? No, because it's, it's, a known formula it would be known it's always going to be like each byte each hex in, is four bits there's eight bits in a byte so like the each um byte it gets converted into two characters so it's always data size times two plus one i guess for like a null terminating character do if i want to do that i might almost probably do and then it's opposite the other way. So it's like, you know, my, minus one divided by two. Okay, so. Hex data, hex. Uh, data is already constant. He buffer is output so p hex data data size void star p data and t data buffer size i don't know how like uh, maybe i should probably kind of like put it explicitly, what is data versus what is a data versus a buffer kind of thing? Hex. Don't see. Okay. <clears throat> okay. For encoding, I need to return a case if the buffer is not large enough. So if is less than data size times two, plus one, I guess. I'll, I'll, I'll add um, the null terminating character, all to these things. So you can basically treat them immediately 
as a string. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to think about decode because what if like you choose a thing smaller than the last thing is not necessarily a null character terminator character. So you don't actually know how much data is returned. So I do need to, okay. Yeah. It's going to be a bit of a problem. Whatever. I'll figure that out in a moment. So return. Uh, the destination buffer is too small. Just do that. That's we're just returning that straight up. Otherwise, you int eight. E... Start. We're going to go byte by byte. The source, the data, and then for each of them, we're going to go through four while data size is greater than zero. We're just going to use that and just decrement decrement that. Eight byte equals equals that. So that's automatically moving up, and then I need to do hex buffer. So this is a character is going to equal two things. Do I want to do okay? I need like a switch to convert zero through sixteen to no zero. Because they're always in order, right? Zero through F. If, okay. First off, I'm only doing half a byte. So I want to take the byte and I want to shift it by four. What I think I can do is this will be like a into an offset into an array, which is like zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this should be always 0 through 15, and that is like 0 through 15 into this. And I do that for that, and then I need to do it for... Okay, so that was... That was the... That, this was the left most bits and then I need to do the other bits and 15 0 x ff no just f 15 right yeah there we go last four bits so this would have been the first so this first one would have been the first four zeros right now and then this is the other four okay so that's nice and then at the end, the null terminator character, p hex buffer equals null terminator, which is basically zero anyways, return to bo crypto success. Okay. Put this in the result. So this is okay. not so great. I'll just put this as that for now. Now I have to do it the other way. Uh, I don't think I can do a cool trick like that. May just have to do okay. Also, because there's two. Maybe. Maybe I don't know. Okay, no, I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna do it. I 
It's just going to do a bite. Hex character. Just keep coding a hex character, which is going to be a character that it's going to be a large, old-fashioned switch statement for now. CH. We'll return whatever. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. One, two, and it's just very slowly. I can't. I just can't think off the top of my head of a, of a neat way to do this, unless I was to do something with the ASCII codes, because zero through nine are together and a through f are together in the ascii charts as well and that's and we're just bothering with the latin i think it's latin uh ascii oh you know i maybe i'll think of that as maybe an optimization i'll have to put it through um i'd have to put it through godbolt to actually see what it prints out No. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that oh, I also need to for that one as well. Fall through. B Okay, that's all 16 cases for character. That's all I care about. But I still need to have, like, in case I give it bad, give it some bad data somehow. Default. Just a full dead character. So if it's greater than, if it's naughty, if it's greater than F, then of course, like something something weird, like it was, it's got it's invalid data. Oh yeah, I do need to handle invalid data. Okay, because I can't. I don't know if like people are going to give me real data or just garbage. So is it okay? I can check if the hex data size is odd if it is odd that means it's not real because it'd be like a half bite no half bite something like that that doesn't that doesn't make sense And zero by one, not equal zero. That means we've got bad data. And then otherwise, I can at least make sure that the buffer size is at least the correct size for this, right? I'm assuming it's this size. You're you're going to this size. You're not going to have a, a null character halfway through or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah if buffer size Uh, for that, okay, that's second result, negative result. No destination must be. Must at least be that. So, no, not decoded data, just hex data. P, no, P. No. Let's just move this around. I should be able to just move that around. P buffer around, yeah. UN 32T. No, yeah. Can I return the map? I did? No. Because if it's malformed, it's malformed. I'm just going to return it's malformed, yeah. It's greater than 1. I know it's an even value. It's data size minus equals two each time because I'm doing two but two one byte two hexes two characters. First hex and pair will be. This is first hex. Decode hex that. And that's incremented or moved along. Return both error. data if i'm just going to always assume that then i'm always just going I, okay then i'm not going to bother with the null character screw that it must be just that i'm not going to do the null characters you know that you know the size of the ingoing buffer you know the size of the outgoing buffer you want to add a hex to the uh, null character that's on you same thing kind of here crypto error malformed hex data Yeah, second hex. Same thing. If they are together, then I can say, hey, uh, star p buffer plus plus equals first hex shifted over by half a byte. Or against the second half, second hex. Ah, that's why. Um, right, 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 right. Okay. Um, two for result. Oh, crypto success. Okay, I'm about to find out uh, via trial by fire whether or not this actually works. So, um, I have the calculated hash. 
Then I'm going to have the expect char. No, I already have the expected hash. Um, X calculated. Now 32, there's 32 bytes, it's great. Result equals, I need to include that. Oh, I did, I not even, I did not. The hex data. No, I'm encoding it. Oh, oh, no, yeah, yeah, I could go either way, can't I? Ooh, you know what, I'll do it that way. Uh, binary hash. I'm going to decode this into just binary. So you get the hex data, which is C expected hash. With a buffer of binary blah, 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 which is 32 bytes. Yep, okay, that's fine. Oh, I don't even need that, I just need this. Then I need to check. I just require. Require. Yeah. Uh, mem compare. Between calculator hash and binary expected hash. Time 32. Require them to be zero. Okay. Let's see what. Hmm, undefined reference to crypto hash. Undefined reference to two flow results. Okay, this is here. I know this is here. Result, yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Lib for crypto. Und oh, I did not include. Sodium. I think it's sodium. Okay, so that's just two for a result. Where is this not being found for? Result C, Sha, Sha, okay. Result H. Hmm. This is a little confusing. I don't, I don't get it. It's an inline. So it has to be static inline? Am I just like weird? Okay. Is it just not, oh weird. Oh, I was just missing the static. Okay. My bad. That's, that makes, um, then I'm gonna, like, uh, 
test, test. It thinks it works. That's great. Let me just make sure that I'm not absolutely... Calculated hash. The expected hash gets converted into the calculated hash. No, oh, yeah, okay, so... I was doing this up here. That fails. Okay, great. Make a copy paste of this basically for 512. Uh, the hash for, let's go back to the online tool, SHA 512 for lorm ipsum. is 8b a blah 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 a bit longer not quite why Oh, uh, right. It needs to be updated to 64. This is 64. That is 64. This is 64. 64, 64. 64. You're still wrong. Wrong on something, why? 512, that helps. To actually use the correct algorithm. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Let me just uh, stage all of that. Great. Now for the more interesting part of this all which is the encryption and decryption no oh, keys i need the keys first before i can do encryption decryption so let me grab a bit of a drink and brb okay so uh keys public public private keys uh of me edward 255 one nine variety so let's just put this here let's grab that So when you generate a key, uh, it takes in random data, which I'll, for the moment, hide, I think. Or oh, maybe, do I put a separate random data function, maybe? Because Libsodium has a random data function. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Do I want to expose it for some reason? I don't, don't know yet. Whatever. I'll come back to it. Let me just kind of close all that and just grab a header so I can grab the this, these guards. Now what have I handle? I'm going to have results. And that. So there's a number of things. There's I'm gonna have two types of handles, one to private key, one to public key. So define handle. We'll have this. Pro result set. So I need to, I need two to uh, an ex uh, ah, exchange key pair and a signing key pair. So pro crypto. Um, exchange key pair. Ed two five five one nine. 
which of course returns a private key. So it's going to be like this. We've got one and we've got a second one, which is for the, not the exchange, but the signing key pair. And then I want to be able to destroy and I'll just destroy via the private key. The private key will also destroy. This will also will destroy from the private key. The private key will destroy both keys because they'll be linked together in a way. I think so. Okay, let me kind of get to the implementation of this two five five one nine dot c. We want that, we want to add it here. Think about that, so I need to also include that. So, let me just double check the docs here. Libsodium. Okay, so I need a structure type, which I'm going to say that this is a ED25519E pair. Uh, I'm assuming that both the exchange and signing key pairs being both the same algorithm will be the same size, so I can reuse this structure across both. So you went 8 t private key is, let's have a look at this it's specifically okay we need to include crypto sign for that one scalar malt the exchange. So this is a crypto sign ED, uh, not key pair, but seed bytes for the private key. And that for the public. That's 32 and 32, and let me just crypto scalar malt ed whatever bytes is also 32. Yeah, so it's, yeah, well, thank goodness for that. So, uh, be, uh, be, uh, because private key is going to be a handle. I need to be able to find a handle cast between key pair. The object type is ED255. That and the handle type is that. So. Rucked. ED25519 key pair. Star P key pair. That's right, this is C, so we've got that. I got the key pair. If it's null, I need this. I failed to allocate it for whatever reason, so return. Uh, 
um, out of memory. So that's the real first interesting one. It's pretty always common. Otherwise, I need to if crypto get a malt curve. No. It's supposed to be here. Okay, supposed to be cur okay, curve two five five one nine base. Utils. Is this it? is it in here? <sighs> Did I get this from? Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's this one, right? Okay. Uh, sorry, no, this is... Okay, it's, it takes in unsigned star star. Which I'll just give it an key, key pair of public key first. The key pair private key second. And it's supposed to return zero, otherwise I have an error of some sort. Fail to create key pair. That seems pretty straightforward. Do I want to say specifically an exchange or a private key pair? I'll just say key pair for the moment. Otherwise, oh no, if, if, yeah, if it does fail, then I need to destroy it. So, Destroy key pair where I just kind of pass it in the private key. Otherwise, star key private key equals uh, P key pair. And the private key, oh yeah, star P public key equals, how do I can do a conversion of that? I need it returns that No, that's a no. This is specifically public key to handle, or it'll be that. And it's just going to return 
that uh, and key, key pair. public key, wherever that is hiding. Okay, and then I need to kind of do the same thing going the, uh, put the signing key. I don't know if I should split out the exchange and signing key into separate files right now, but I'm not quite going. Oh, and then I need to destroy. So let me actually get the destruction going. It will just be basically this, won't it? One private key. Sodium has... Okay, no, I do need the utils. Sodium, utils. Where it has sodium... It has some kind of special... Uh, zero? Mem zero? Mem zero. So it has a specialized mem compare, which always takes constant time for the same number of bytes. And then here's a mem zero thing. Which is not... Some... It's... um designed or whatever to not be removed by the compiler or like optimized out or whatever somehow so i'll assume i'll assume that it's correct ed2519e pair size of that and then we free oh oh uh, there's uh, sodium malloc or alloc and free too. That may be worth looking into later. Signing key. Let's get this going. Okay, uh, similar thing, key pair stuff. Similar output stuff. Basically, it's almost the same thing, except I have a different function. Oh, and I have random data. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Random, okay, I'm gonna make a random data thing. A separate function just for random data. Sorry, if and def. Okay. This. It's just this void star p data size t data size. So it just ran, it'll just generate x number of bytes of random data. Get that. Get that. Sodium random bytes. Oh, I'm going to assume this is random bytes. Buff. Data. Data size. Like that. Does this... Oh, 
does this require random random data? Does this require init run first? No. So there's a there's a um, initialization function for sodium. You have to run it before some functions. I haven't hit any of them yet. It is thread safe, supposedly. So I should just be able to call it every time I could need it, which isn't too much. So, okay, I've got random data. I generate. I have the ability to generate random data back to this. So I have the key pair. I have the memory available. So at this point, I need to... Random data. Random secret data. And it's 32 bytes for ED25519. So I have to put it into the private key. Okay, key, key, pair, private key. So it goes into there. It's 32. Or, yeah. Well, it's supposed to be this, the seed bytes, okay. And then from that, I need to basically do, okay, from that point, I basically do this again, but it's not this, it's, Hold on, I think I've fucked this up. Let me... Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Gotten confused. Because this... No, because there's like a temp... There's, um, so for crypto... 9, 8255... Seed bytes? No, seed key pair. This. There's... Public key... S, K, and seed. What is the S, K? Secret key? Or is that supposed to be... Is that the private key? Okay, hold... Blah, 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 blah. I'm... Hold on. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to just kind of put this on hold because I have no... I, I can't figure it out. I cannot figure it out. I'm not going to figure it out on stream. So, uh, I at least have the exchange key pair. I'll come back to figure out the signing key pair. What I will do then in the meantime is the encryption decryption. AES and cha-cha. X cha-cha. AES GCM dot H. I... Yeah. Okay, so for AES, there is some state you want to keep. There are ways to um, not do with pre-computation, but it's supposed to be a little bit slower, and I want to deal with... So I guess maybe I'll have both. I'll have both one that just allows encryption without pre-computation, and another one that does allow you to do with pre-computation. Where you just, what, you, you create a context thing and then you give the key, the private key? Something like that? Something like that. With pre-calculation. Attached and de combined mode and detached mode. Not entirely sure what those are, so... That may have to do with authentication details. Whatever. Whatever. I'll figure it out. I'll do it live. Uh, AES. DCM. Uh, 
Uh, .h. I need the usual C extern stuff. Okay. Uh, actually, no, I need to define a context for the pre-computation. Crypto context, AES, GCM, something like that. Ugh, that's a bit ugly. I'll work with it. Create that font star key key with the size of the key and returning of the context that is created. Then I'll have to pass that into the other items. So for encrypt. With, uh, oh, no, I need to destroy, I need to destroy it first. Destroy that. Great. So when you encrypt, I have the context, I have, of course, The data, the data size, nonce, which is some extra flavor data, I guess, flavor key, something like that. Um, and then the encrypted data on the other side. Encrypted. Size. And then we kind of got to go the other way around. So P encrypted data. Encrypted data size. We have the same nodes, but we have decrypted buffer. Something like that. Okay. All uh, right, so I need to include, sorry, not oh, uh, sodium, crypto, add that, result H, wonderful. So this is one of the things I do need, where I do need to make sure that, um, Sodium is initialized. You know, if there's less than zero, then I need to say something along the lines of that it just failed sodium. Core? Yeah. Error. Crypto backend failed to initialize. 
No, just it's already so yeah, that that'll work. Okay. Uh I also need to check to see whether the hardware acceleration is available. So if crypto AAD AS two fifty six ECM is available is not equal to one, apparently it's a boolean. And I need to say, hey, return the result. Crypto error. No, yes. Hardware acceleration available. So in that case, if you get that, no. no hardware acceleration available, then you would want to switch to a different algorithm. Otherwise, if the size not equal to the size that it's expecting, so crypto A, B, A bytes, key bytes, key bytes. Incorrect key size. Okay, with all those things out of the way, we now proceed to create it. Crypto AEAD. Yes, 2v6 GCM. Context? State. Encryption context equals okay. This is one of the things that says sodium to use sodium malloc of size of that. This is the out of memory. That's fine. So this is not here. This is in utils, I guess. Oh no, it's right. Oh, it's undeclared. Uh, utils. There we are. Crypto AAD is available, though not quite. If it's GCM. 4 nm so it's the context key new encryption context and it's the key key if this is not equal to zero then we fail to do it sodium free p new encryption context and we return Uh, initialized failed. Otherwise, it was successful. So I return star p context equals p new encryption context, um, where I just kind of say that um, I'll create. Handle cast, which will say it's going to be between this and that. Two handle of that. Similarity. I could just, yeah, it's basically just sodium free of this. Okay. 
should be that, not pointers. Okay, back to this. Oh, do I even have? No, I do not. So I even free that. So I could just kind of do this. So that I'll just kind of go to that, which is, so it's a bit more together. I'm not sure how to say that exactly, but yeah, whatever. So now for the interesting parts, which is this to not to destroy the destroy. Hold on. Whoa. Crypto. Crypto. What were these names? How did I not read that in my mind? Why did I just not read that in my mind? Put the context. There we go. Those I'll I'll create the error codes once I'm done. So okay, I need to make sure. It's large enough. So uh, encryption, encryption algorithms add a little bit of data to the size to, for whatever whatever they're doing. They do something. So I need to make sure if star t encryption encrypted by uh, buffer size is less than. Data size plus a bytes, this thing, whatever this is. So it adds 16 bytes typically. Now I need to say return crypto error destination buffer too small. Nice and simple. Otherwise, we just kind of do. Actual encrypted data size. Okay, so yeah, the encrypted data size may up be up to 16 bytes larger. It could also shrink. Or be the same. I don't know. Whatever. I, I'm not I'm not a crypto guy. Okay, so this takes an unsigned long long, which is going to be This is whatever, it doesn't really matter. If crypto a blah blah, not that. Encrypt after nm. Okay. So C is for the cryptid data, so no. Yes. E encrypted buffer. And actual encrypted size. M is for the original message, so P data, original data size, data size. The what is this? AD. I don't know. Um, we'll say it's zero. I don't know. I do not know. Uh, okay, this is the. Okay, this is the. The nonce. And then this is the context. P. Context. Okay, I can just pass this in the like. Um,
So if this is not equal to zero, then we fail to encrypt. That's the that's the that's the interesting thing. Why? I don't know. It says it's not supposed to happen, but it might. Encrypted uh, buffer size, full encrypted size. <sighs> and finally, um, decrypt. Wow, I just can't get those names right. So, the opposite way, I need to make sure the destination... is large enough. So that means it has to be at least... bytes... RP decrypted buffer size is less than encrypted data size plus the A bytes. So it can shrink or increase by that many. So it has to be at least that plus that in case this shrank by up to 16 bytes. Okay. Return that. Fantastic. Basically, unsigned. Actual decrypted size, and we kind of got it. Same thing. If sorry, no, nope. Crypt after an M. So message is decrypted buffer. Actual decrypted size. I don't have this. The encrypted size p the data the data size i don't have authentication data i don't have the length of that uh this is the this extra thing and here's the context from handle equal zero I'm, I, I'm going to need something more than that. Let's say what kind of error, maybe? I don't know if I even have that, actually. Actual size, return, result. Success. Okay. Now I need a test for this. For sure. Hmm. Okay. CPP, not this, we're going with that. And I'm gonna to have to wrap this around, especially for other architectures that, well, the other architectures may have acceleration, just uh, LibSodium only supports acceleration on uh, x86 so yeah whatever so for this, I need this. I 
Actually, I need to make sure it, whatever I have already compiles anyways, which it doesn't. So that's cool. Why does it not? Oh, right, the uh, missing these things. I'll just kind of copy paste them real quick. Okay, those compile now. Great, or almost. Undefined reference to photo destroy context AES. Oh, the old name. Okay. Back to this. So I got the null handle. Uh, I'm going to use this again for the test data. I need the con I need to create the con I need to create this uh, with a 32-bit key, which um, <laughs> I'm just gonna create a 32. Just ah. Uh, this is the key that I'm gonna create it with equals. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blah, 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 blah. Let's just keep going until one long 29, 30, 32, 1, 32. 32, whatever. Great. And I need a nonce of. I don't even know how big it is. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Twelve. I'll do it not to twelve. Oh, like oh, that. Okay. So create this with the key. Um. We got the context there. If we pass, so require. Uh, size of the buffer is going to be. I'll just double it just to be easy like that. Unique pointer, um, signed star, or just you went HT array. Yeah. 
equals that. I need memory for this. Okay, so the buffer size, the buffer, now I just need to do the actual encryption. So, size T. This equals that. Result. So, I need to encrypt the data. Plain text data about data. That uh, the that and then we have the encrypted buffer dot get and this. What am I missing? Plain text data, data size, the nonce, the encrypted buffer, and that. Oh, conversion from const string view star to void star for fourth argument. One, two, three, four. Oh! that okay really i can't oh, all right um it's supposed to be no const right const keys i presume that these are not changing Yeah. It's some external helper whatever data. Like a supplementary key or something. Along with AD, I gotta figure out AD. I think it's like additional or authentication data, which like tells you if the data's been tampered with. But I don't know exactly how to use it yet. So First off, require this. Uh, and then I want to... I don't know if the data is smaller or bigger, so I can't really do that. But I can try to decrypt the data now. So I have a memory and data for this, and then I just kind of basically do the same thing, but in reverse. So it's encrypted data size equals decrypted buffer size. We take these. That, that. The same thing, but in reverse. What's wrong? Fifth argument, const pointer for this. Oh, right, 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 right. So this is okay. And then at the end, I just do mem compare. I want to make sure this equals that dot size and check that mem compare between the FC plain text dot data and the Oh no, this would have to be require. I need to require that the data sizes are the same so that when I do mem compare, I'm not overrunning. Yeah. 
equals that. Okay. Um, M compare requires D string. Okay. Run. And it works. I just want to make sure that after this, I want to check the plain text data and the encrypted buffer. Um, what equals here? I don't know which, um, whatever. Whatever, it works. Or does it? I don't... I don't know if it actually encrypted the data, though. I'm assuming it has. I just don't know. I need to... Okay. Actually, I have one thing I can do. Couldn't I? No, that wouldn't work. Um, encrypt the data size is bigger than C plain text size dot size. Then min size equals C plain text dot size. Then we kind of go to min size. We we reading this much. Make sure it's not equal zero. Yeah. Okay. So it is different. I'm uh, hoping. Right. So I mean, I encrypted. I decrypted. Great. 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 So I still need to figure out signing keys, but I'll do that next time. Because what I need to figure out exchange keys and signing keys when I'm doing like the actual transfer and signing of data and sending it across the network anyways. So I'll do that next time. For now, like I got all enough stuff in here already. I already have like you know the, the hashing, the random data, the hexadecimal conversion, the string thing, the basic of, key, of at least the exchange keys, and I got some encryption going on right now. X cha cha um is basically the same thing, except you don't have a context. So you can just do a straight, you know, encrypt and decrypt, basically with the same things. Yeah, with additional data stuff. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, uh, combined mode. The authentication tag is directly appended to the encrypted message. This is usually what you want. And then detached mode is where the authentication tag and encrypted data are at different locations. I guess if you want to put them into different buffers. Okay, so that's why it's combined. Additional data, that sounds, Good, whatever. Message forged, whatever. So I'll leave it at that for now. And yeah, next time I'll come back, finish up keys, do actual key exchange connection stuff, networking. Fantastic. Until next time, cheers.